What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the new iMessage bug and how to fix it. So if you guys haven't heard of this bug or if you haven't fallen victim to this bug just yet, basically what it does is allow somebody to send an iMessage to your device using Arabic or Unicode characters. Now if you receive this iMessage as a banner notification on your springboard or a notification on your lock screen, then it's actually going to crash your springboard. Now it doesn't end there. After it crashes your springboard and comes back, you actually can't get into your messages app. So of course I think it's a little bit funny, but it can be extremely annoying if you do this to somebody and they have absolutely no idea, first of all, what's going on, and second of all, how to fix it. So of course, I am going to put the text in the description below for you guys to just copy and paste and you can send this to you know your friends that, that you wanna jack with. But of course, if you do do that, then make sure that you share this video with them so they know how to fix it. Because I'm going to be going through several solutions that a lot of people have uh, claimed that has worked for them. Now, keep in mind that it always doesn't, every single solution doesn't work for every single device. I've noticed that sometimes it's a little bit finicky and you have to try several different ways to actually fix the device. So let's go ahead and get into that and I'll show you guys exactly how this all works. All right, so here I am on my device. So it seems as though that my jailbroken phone is a little bit less susceptible to this bug than my other devices, which are non-jailbroken. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just on my iPad and I'm gonna send myself the iMessage that actually crashes the device. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. All right, so you saw that I actually got a little badge notification right there. And before the banner could actually pull down, it actually crashes the springboard and respring's my device. Mm -hmm. So it acts a little bit different on a jailbroken device because every time that a jailbroken device has a springboard crash, it actually boots into safe mode, as you can see right here. Of course, this is not something that's available on non-jailbroken devices, so it really just crashes a springboard and then boots back up. So now that we've resprung, you can see right here, if I go ahead and open up my messages app, you'll notice that it crashes every single time that I try to open it. Now this is the frustrating part of this bug, especially if you don't know how to fix it. So I'm gonna be showing you how to fix it in a couple of different ways. Now the one that works for me almost every single time is the photo method. So the way that you do this is you just basically send a photo through messages through your photos app. So we're just gonna tap on this right here and we're going to send this photo to myself. So we'll just send message and then type in my name. And then once you've selected it, we'll go ahead and send that off. And then it should go ahead and send that. Now once it's sent, that's when we can actually access our messages app again. So you have to give us some time for it to actually upload and send that photo message before you try to open up your messages app. And we should know when it sends because we should get a badge notification. Now it should have sent by now, so let's go ahead and give it a shot and try to open this up. And you can see that right when I opened it up, I actually got the message. So this is actually fixing that issue right there. So now you'll see that I have the message in my conversations and I'm able to access my entire messages application. Now sometimes that's not going to work for some people, so another way to fix this is to use the Siri method. So the way to do that is you just hold down to open up Siri, send a message to myself. Okay, what do you want to say to Cody? Hi. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. So that's basically all that you need to do, and it should go ahead and fix that messages app crashing. Now, if that doesn't work, there's also another method that you can use with Siri, and that is telling Siri to read all your unread messages. So you can see right here that if we just tap on this, Siri, read me my unread messages. You have a message from Cody. Hi. Would you like to reply? Yes. Okay, what do you want to say to Cody? What's up? Ready to send it? Yes. Yes. I'll send it. All right, so that's the other way to do it. And this is actually a method that uh, I actually sent this to my friend and we couldn't get his messages app working and he actually discovered this by himself and it seems to work. Now there's actually one more method that you can use with Siri and that is by texting someone else. So first you wanna tell Siri to text somebody else and then you wanna tap on the message to actually get into the messages app and open up the direct conversation of the person that you're texting. So if that sounds a little bit confusing, I'm gonna show you right here. 
Text message Rob Sherrard. Okay, what do you want to say to Rob Sherrard? Now all you have to do is just tap on this and it should go ahead and open up that conversation with the person that you're texting rather than crashing the messages app. So this is another way around the messaging app crashing. Now, of course, these are all just fixes. What you probably want to do is prevent it, especially if you have a bunch of friends that are sending you these and crashing your phone all the time. So the way that you prevent it is actually going into your settings, and then you're going to go into your notifications and then tap on messages here. And then you want to toggle off show on lock screen and then just turn off banners altogether. Now, of course, this is probably not a long-term solution, but of course, if you're getting nonstop text messages or iMessages from your friends trying to crash your device, this is probably a good step to take. So if none of those solutions solve the issue, then you can also try to have the person that sent you the message, so let's say that person is Joe, have Joe send you a photo. Hopefully that can also solve the issue. Now, if somebody was trying to be a major jerk and sent a group message with this text, trying to crash a whole bunch of iPhones at the exact same time, then you actually have to respond to that exact message. You can't just send it to a particular message in the previous solution. So just keep that in mind when you're going through this process. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I know it can be extremely annoying, especially if your messages app just continuously crashes because that's probably the most used application on most people's devices. Now, of course, if you do use the text that I'm putting in the description below to you know, mess with your friends or prank with your friends, then make sure that you share this video with them again, either on Twitter, Facebook, or you know, wherever. Make sure that they get it that way that they know how to fix it if they have any issues. Now in the description below, I'll actually have two iterations of the text. One of them that actually works a whole lot better for me in terms of actually triggering the app to crash mm -hmm. more often. So I'll put that in the description below as well. But of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.